Okay, so I've created all the folders I want and imported everything I wanted, and the folders I ended up making were animations, which will probably be empty for you for now, character models, which will also be empty, um, general models, which I've got my dungeon traps in, materials, I've got dungeon ground in mine, you're going to probably have a few more in yours, I'll get mine as I go along, particles, which you will have empty because we haven't created any particles yet, but you can go ahead and make a folder called particles, or you can do it later as we go along, it's no problem. Then I have scene models, and I have sounds. So that covers it for me. The next thing we're going to want to do here is install Playmaker. So again, I'm going back to my asset store window here. Choosing my downloads, I've organized mine by title just so I can find P. And while we wait for this to load, we can talk a little bit about installing Playmaker. So Playmaker takes a little bit more to install than some of the other um, assets. And it will take a little bit longer to compile, so hopefully not too long. So it's here. So I'm using version 1.84. By the time you watch this video, you'll probably be using version 1.85 or above, as I know it's on the way. And let's just import this. And you're going to get the regular import, and we'll do that. But once Playmaker imports, it's still going to need to install. So the first thing I want to do is just unclick the show at startup, because I don't want this to show every time I open Unity. Then I'm going to click Install Playmaker. And it's going to scan my project and let me know if there's any conflicts for the installation. So if you have a new project, this shouldn't be a problem. You could run the update again if you want, but I'm just going to ignore this and close it. So now that I've done the pre-update check, I can just go ahead and actually install. It's going to needs to update some APIs. This is normal. It's OK. Just say I've made a backup and go ahead. Always make up a backup if you're using a project that you've been working on for a while. This, since this is new, we don't need to do that. And then it's going to ask me if I want to import some more items. We're going to choose Import. And then it's going to go ahead and recompile. So recompile is when you have um, installed something new, some new scripts or some new DLL. And Unity will have to go ahead and read those and organize them before you can actually do anything. So depending on the size of the things that you've imported, the recompile time will take different amounts of time. OK, it's asking me again if I want to. So I'm just going to say, go ahead. OK, once it's done, you're still going to see this um, Playmaker window. Mine has rechecked itself off for some reason, so I'm going to uncheck that and close it. Now, if you go to this tab here called Console, Console is what shows the errors in your game. So anything that is yellow is uh, just a warning to let you know. Anything red is supposedly a real problem. And this little uh, white one just gives you some general information. Now, I'm going to actually clear these console errors because I know they're not anything important. If you can't clear them, then that's when you have a problem. And we're going to talk about that later. But since you're so early in this project, it should not be an issue yet. So we'll go back to the project screen. Now, we just want to finish setting up Playmaker. We're going to get the Playmaker window going. To do that, we have a new tab at the top called Playmaker. We're going to click it and choose Playmaker Editor. This will open up a new window, which we're just going to grab by the tab and dock down.